Hello and welcome back to this channel, giving you something fiercely evaluative. David Finch's horribly addictive samurai procedural, The Killer, stars Michael Fassbender as the unnamed titular hitman, an ascetic who in the movie's sensationally low-key opening sequence tells us about dealing with the job's biggest challenge, boredom. He internally monologues on this subject and many others, including his views on the amorality of the universe and the music of the Smiths, while sitting high up in a rented WeWork office space with his long-range rifle aimed out of the window next to a five-star Paris hotel, waiting, waiting, waiting for the VIP guest to show up in the suite opposite and get a bullet in the head. Despite the killer's cool and pitiless rigour, his elaborate discipline and impressive yoga postures, something goes terribly wrong just for no reason at all. The wealthy, ruthless and now angrily disappointed people who commissioned the killer will now want to kill him, so he will have to kill them. Now he says there is a new maxim in his life, WWJWBD, what would John Wilkes Booth do? The killer's fanatically focused rearguard action for his own survival takes him from Paris to the Dominican Republic where he has a remote luxury hacienda to New Orleans where he must meet with a law professor who recruited him into this business in the first place, then to Florida, then to New York, then Chicago to meet with a cryptocurrency baron paying for everything. The result is violence interspersed with the dreamlike business of disguise and track covering, the endless false names by which he is smilingly greeted at airline ticket counters and rental car booths. There are innumerable lockups and countless storage units which hold his weapons, his cash and fake passports. It is all entertainingly absurd and yet the pure conviction and deadpan focus that Fassbender and Fincher variously bring to this ballet of anonymous professionalism make it all very enjoyable. And there are moments when the veneer of realism is disquieting. Can it really be true, for example, that you can get through an electronic key fob protected door just by photographing it on your phone and then ordering a fob copier from Amazon? Maybe it is. Students of Melville's 1967 movie Le Samurai already know who it is any samurai really wants to kill. Could it be that all the cash and weaponry this killer has stockpiled has always been unconsciously intended for a kind of self-annihilating mission? Or will the calamity show him the way out of this mess? This is a thriller of pure surface and style, and Fassbender's careworn, inscrutable face is just right for it. That's it. Please give this vlog a like and a share on your socials. Please subscribe and leave a comment to say that you've done so. And please buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. See you next time.